Hello and welcome back to the stars everybody, welcome back to Starfield, where today we are going to be talking about the Beowulf Rifle, one of my absolute favorite weapons in this game, and probably one of the strongest weapons overall. The Beowulf you can actually find fairly early on, it, you can buy it in a couple stores pretty early on, there's a couple of, well there's one rare one that you can buy in a store, and they do start popping up pretty early on. You're going to find this to the early to mid game throughout Starfield, a lot of uh, mercenaries will have this too, and it's kind of a scary weapon when they have it, at least some of the higher level mercenaries because they can actually shred you pretty fast with this. So let's go over the base stats of the Beowulf and then go over some pros and cons to it. For the base stats of the Beowulf, this one does 36 damage per shot, which is pretty high. That's actually quite high for a rifle. This is in semi-auto by default, which is good. Semi-auto is generally stronger than full auto and almost any case with few exceptions like the shoddy shotgun and a couple other weapons this one fires the 7.77 millimeter round this is probably the best gun to be using that round it is probably the most common round in the game which is pretty cool so it's not hard to find ammo for this and there's a bunch of guns that take this the micro gun the grendel the kodama and this one all take that round so it, it's pretty easy to find guns laying around that have this ammo and just ammo in general for this type of weapon. It holds 30 rounds in it. That can't actually be changed unless you get a legendary effect. There is no extended mag for this, but 30 rounds is more than enough in most situations. This has 50 rate of fire, which is pretty high. It's not the highest rate of fire, but it's by no means slow, so that's pretty nice. This one has 40 meters of effective range, about the same as the majority of the other rifles. This one has pretty high accuracy too which is great to see. And even just like the iron sights on this are pretty good. And then this comes in at 2.8 weight. So it's not that heavy either. All of this is really good for the Beowulf and the Beowulf tends to have just above average stats in everything, which is really good. And it's probably one thing that makes the rifle so good. So let's go over the pros and cons of this. For the major pros, this does have high damage per shot. It does the most amount of damage out of any of the 7.77 rounds. Besides, I guess the Kodama, if you count the bleed, because that tick damage could add up to more than this. But for just shot for shot, the Beowulf will do the most damage per shot, usually the most damage per second out of those weapons too, besides maybe the micro gun at close range. This one is a very common gun. It's really easy to find the Beowulf and unique versions of the Beowulf because a lot of mercenaries will have this. So finding a legendary Beowulf, an epic Beowulf, or a rare Beowulf is not that hard. This has super common ammo. Every merchant sells the 7.77. It's very cheap. It's one of the cheapest ammos in the game. Basically everybody has it as well. And if not, you're going to find like Grendel's laying around that you can just pick up and get ammo from too. It has pretty long range, at least with mods. Without mods, it still has okay range. 40 meters is fine. And that's generally where you're going to be fighting at anyway. And it does have a really good selection of mods. There is a lot of pros going for the Beowulf. For cons, I honestly couldn't really think of very many cons, if any major cons to the Beowulf, because it is just kind of above average at everything. So this is one of the few weapons that I would say has little to no cons to it whatsoever. So on my rifle tier list, I did put the Beowulf up into A tier. However, I did feel like it was definitely gatekeeping everything else that was either higher or lower than it. So I think it's fair to probably move this up to S tier. Because again, this is just above average in everything. It's just such a good weapon overall. It also works with a ton of perks too, so that's really nice. We'll talk about that when we get to mods because some of them do affect that. And let's talk about a modded version now. Starting at the barrel, we either have a long barrel or a short barrel we can put on this. I would recommend the long barrel. This gives you longer range, better recoil, better accuracy, just slower ADS speed, which isn't a huge deal for a rifle like this. And then for a laser and foregrip technically, because these are both one and the same, I would just recommend the foregrip with the recon laser. That is the best option. Regular laser is fine too. And if you can't get a laser on this or you don't want to be putting a laser on it, it's not a huge deal. This will just get you better accuracy. The Beowulf is already quite accurate. So increasing its accuracy doesn't matter that much, but it is a nice bonus. This one can have scopes on it. It can either have a short scope or a medium scope, which is really good. And I recommend one of those two. I have a medium scope on mine. But either way, they're both really good because if you have the sniper perk, you just get more damage from having a scope on there. So throw a scope on there if you can. If not, even if you're just stuck with the iron sights with the Beowulf, they're still pretty decent. They're very open and very easy to like put onto targets. For a muzzle, I'd recommend a suppressor. If you're going with the sneak skill, you're just going to get more damage out of this. If you're not going with the sneak skill, muzzle break or compensator is also pretty good. Pick whichever one of those you would like. Then for a stock, I would recommend either the ergo stock or the tactical stock. They're both pretty good. I went the tactical stock on mine just to lower the weight overall. Ergo grip will get you a little bit more accuracy, but it's not that much more. So this one's personal preference, whichever one you enjoy more. For a magazine and battery, you actually don't have very many options for this. And I'd recommend the two that you can get either armor piercing rounds or the tactical magazine. Tactical magazine makes it so you have a faster reload speed, which can be pretty good. 
The armor piercing rounds just make it so that this is more consistent towards regular enemies. A lot of human enemies wear armor, so this will just be hitting them more consistently once you have armor piercing rounds in it. I don't know why this doesn't have more different ammo that you can put in it, but armor piercing rounds are generally good enough for any situation. Then for an internal, we have our standard options of a hair trigger, high powered, or high velocity. All of these are really good, they all fit with this weapon really well. I went with high powered with mine so that I can get more damage out of it, but hair trigger makes it so your rate of fire is faster. That does benefit this rifle even though it shoots fairly quick, and high velocity gives you longer range. If you want to use this as a DMR rifle because this does get decent range, then it can have like effective range up to 90 meters, which is pretty good. Then for receiver, you get your choice between full auto, semi-auto, and burst fire. Semi-auto is on here by default, and that one is generally the best. It works for more perks, it gets you the most amount of damage. Full auto is okay if you want to spray this, but at that point I would say the Kodama kind of fits this role better, and I would just recommend that over this. You could also argue maybe the Grendel could work better in that role too, especially if you have different legendary effects on the weapon because of the larger mag size. I don't think the Beowulf benefits from that as much. Burst Fire is okay, but Burst Fire also is less damage than Semi-Auto and less practical damage. It's not bad by any means, but it's just not a great option either. Again, I think the Kodama kind of does that better if you want a Burst Fire weapon. So with all of these added onto the Beowulf, I would actually move the Beowulf up to the S plus tier. And it's not necessarily because this thing is like overpowered, it's just that this feels kind of overtuned, where it kind of does every job really, really well. It works really well at close range, it works really well at long range, or decently well at long range, it works extremely well at medium range, it does high damage, it has super cost effective ammo, it has super common ammo, you can find legendary versions of this very easily. It has not a whole lot of mods, but all the mods it gets are quite good, so it doesn't even take that much research to put strong mods onto this weapon and it just kind of outperforms so many other weapons. Like I would say the Beowulf just flat out beats all the 11 millimeter rifles. It's at least in competition, if not beating the old earth hunting rifle for the same role. The old earth hunting rifle can do a little bit more DPS than this one, but they're practically the same. And this one shoots a way more common bullet. So, and you can find legendary versions of this way easier. It's just an all around amazing gun that kind of does everything really well. Now let's talk about the unique version of this, which you can pick up from the pirates. This one you have to buy in the rare item shop that the pirates have, and this one is called the Hunter Wolf. Four mods for the Hunter Wolf. This one has burst fire on it by default, which is not bad, but I usually switch that off for semi-auto. A foregrip with a laser sight, high velocity rounds, a long barrel, and a medium scope. This one's already set up really good to just begin with. Besides the burst fire, again, I don't really care for that. I would switch it to semi-auto. But everything else, really, really nice to have on this particular weapon, and even the burst fire isn't that bad. And it does come with one legendary effect on here, which that effect is Exterminator. Exterminator gives you 30% more damage towards aliens, which is great. That's just more damage. That's probably one of the better uh, legendary effects that's in the game just in general. It's a nice bonus to have on the weapon. There's no downside to it, and you can pick this one up fairly early on because you can go and do the pirate's quest pretty early on as well. You can also buy the power beat while you're there too, which is a really good starting weapon as well since it's the one inch punch drum beat. So both these weapons, if you got the cash for it, you can buy them right away they're going to serve you pretty well. So just like all these videos, should you use the Beowulf? Yeah, absolutely. The Beowulf is amazing. Even if you're not going with a rifle build, it's still pretty nice just for the rounds that it fires. Like unless you're going with a designated pistol build where you're going to use like the Eon, I guess, over this, which maybe the Eon might be. I don't even know if the Eon would be stronger than a base Beowulf with no perks on it. I, don't, I feel like it wouldn't. So even in that role, it would still be pretty good just for picking off stuff and working as a designated marksman's rifle or using as just a medium range option for killing critters. So in every other build, yeah, absolutely take the Beowulf. It is one of the best weapons in the entire game. Tell me your thoughts on the Beowulf down in the comments below. How do you enjoy it? And how do you like to build it? Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.